Hey everyone, it's Karen from Make Play Life. Today I'm back in the kitchen again, uh, doing uh, some ketchup actually. Uh, I've been doing, uh, I've started working uh, part time uh, again, and uh, I've been so darn busy with uh, the hours I've been getting, so I haven't had a chance to uh, actually do uh, anything. And I've just had, I've just on my last day, of a three-day weekend for myself which has been great I've managed to get a lot done around here and today I'm back at it in the kitchen making um, deodorant I ran out uh, and uh, before I go to work I need to uh, replenish the stock so to speak so this is the recipe that I um, I had done previous in a previous video about a year ago and uh, it was more for uh, showing my customers uh, what went into their products. This time around, I'm no longer selling uh, selling products online. Um, I just didn't like. I just didn't like doing it. So um, I'm not a good uh, seller or anything like that. But I love to share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Uh, I've improved the re the formula a little bit. And I'm going to share it with you guys, and I'll provide you with the recipe below so that you can go and make your own. Now, this is a non-baking soda deodorant, uh, so it's uh, it's a gentle uh, but very good. It worked. It's worked really well for me. Uh, deodorant, uh, and it's a solid stick. So I'm going to show you what I what I do and how I make it. So let's get started. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my uh, scale and I want to zero out, I want to tear it out and what I'm going to do is I'm adding um, about 30 grams of cocoa butter. Now you can get cocoa butter uh, at your local uh, health food stores but you know you're going to get small quantities so they're going to be more expensive. So I order online and here I order from New Directions uh, as you can see New Directions cocoa butter and it doesn't matter. It can be the raw kind. It can be ultra refined. It doesn't really matter. So what I'm doing is I'm dumping in. I want 30 grams. That's just a wee tad too much. There we go. 30 grams. I'm also going to want 20 grams of coconut oil. Now you want the 76 uh, degree coconut oil. It doesn't matter where you go for it. You can get it online again at another uh, soap supply company. Uh, but uh, I don't. I just because I don't I don't soap as much as I used to. But uh, I get uh, my uh, extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil from uh, my extra virgin coconut oil from uh, from my local uh, grocer because you can pick that up at a grocery store as well. So I'm going to tear this out and I'm going to add 20 grams of coconut oil. Now you can see that the coconut oil is uh, solid at room temperature or like below 76 degrees and it will uh, turn into a liquid um, uh, if uh, higher than 76 degrees. So I've got that. I've also got, tear that out, I've got six grams of sweet almond oil. I love sweet almond oil. Okay. Tear that out. I'm also adding, this is for slip. Uh, about four grams of castor oil, and this one too I get at uh, at New Directions, and it's a very thick, gooey type um, oil carrier oil, uh, which you can get uh, at a pharmacy at your local health food store, but I buy mine online at my soap supplier. So next, I'm going to add ten grams. Of shea butter and what I do is I also buy it from the the department uh, 
from the online shop that I go to with my soap supplies but you can also get it at uh, your health food store but you're going to pay a lot more for a smaller portion uh, of uh, quantity of uh, shea butter. So here I want 10 grams that's just a wee bit too much still too much and just a little under 10 there we go and now I'm going to tear it out again I want 10 grams of beeswax. Now what I normally do is I can buy one of these small packages of beeswax in pellet form from uh, my local uh, health food store. It costs $8 but uh, I just got kind of lazy. I usually buy bricks from uh, a local uh, bee uh, supply, beekeeping supplying uh, place and uh, it cost me for like a one kilo brick um, about $12 but this one uh, in a pinch uh, if you need it that uh, you, you can get it at your health food store okay so I'm going to add 10 grams of, be of beeswax but uh, if you want you can add a little bit more uh, if you want it harder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 5 grams more for a little bit of a, a harder bar or harder uh, stick because I want it to, to be really uh, a good solid bar. And you're probably wondering, okay, like why am I spending so much money on uh, product uh, ingredients and so forth? Well, you're not really, once you break it down, break down the costs, you're not spending a, a lot of money. This is a 100 gram bag and I used 15 grams. So you can make quite a lot with just this one little bag. Okay, so I've got my... Uh, my water bath uh, boiling and I've got the Pyrex uh, cup here and I'm just going to dump my ingredients and, and slowly melt it. And as you can see it's uh, starting to melt slowly. I've got uh, my, my water boiling on low and uh, low and slow but uh, yeah so it's, it's just slowly melting. Uh, it'll take a little bit longer with the beeswax to melt down. Uh, same with the cocoa butter because it's uh, so much harder, but uh, it's uh, it's melting down nicely. And then once this is done, I'll add the uh, dry ingredients. So while my uh, butters and uh, waxes are uh, actually melting down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together the, um, the dry ingredients for this recipe. Now I use several different... Uh, several different uh, powders. Uh, one is arrowroot powder which uh, helps with absorption. So I'm going to add 15 grams of arrowroot powder and I'm just going to mix them all together. Okay there's 15 grams. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to tear that out, I'm going to add 5 grams of kaolin clay and this also helps with absorption and finally I'm going to add zinc oxide. Now zinc oxide will take uh, will replace the um, the uh, baking soda. It's used uh, in place of the baking soda. I'm going to add uh, five grams, and this is non-nano, so okay. And then what I need to do is place that in my waxes. Okay, so I'm going to shut this off. 
my oils and butters and wax is all melted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over to a uh, tea towel and just dry it off. Okay, now that my uh, waxes and butters are, uh, my wax and butters are all melted, I can add my dry ingredients and give it a mix. So I'm just going to dump it in there. I've got my trusty little whisk. And I'm just going to whisk it in until it's completely incorporated. Now it doesn't take much to incorporate it all uh, because uh, the powder is actually quite fine and it will mix in really well. Just give it a quick mix. Push it down off the sides. And then give it a mix again. Now you can choose if you're a purist uh, for natural, if you're completely pure, uh, meaning everything is like 100% natural, you're going to add your essential oils. Now, I'm not a purist, never claim to be a purist, but I do like using essential oils and I also like using fragrance oils. But with this, with deodorant, what I'm doing is I'm taking some tea tree oil, about four or five drops, and I'm going to add that. And what tea tree oil does, it's uh, antimicrobial and it kills any type of bacteria that's on, on the skin. So it's always good. I mean, scent isn't all, the, all that great, but uh, it uh, really, really helps uh, kill any bacteria that uh, will accumulate uh, under your arm. Now with me, I'm using a fragrance oil and I love the scent of the cucumber fragrance. So I'm having a few drops, about 10 drops of cucumber fragrance. You can use um, any type. You can use uh, uh, rose absolute, rose geranium, or, or peppermint, whatever, whatever you uh, choose uh, for essential oil. Mm, that smells good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Mix this until it's well blended and then pour it into, uh, into my mold or into my, my uh, deodorant stick tube. Okay. So I'm just going to pour it in and uh, let it harden for several hours. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it inside my fridge. And like I said, it makes just over. 65 mil. There you go. Easy peasy. Thanks for joining me. Catch in the next one.